Oh, hey, hello. I didn't see you there. We play Arcana. One moment, or rather few moments. Holy shit. Oh no, I'm not prepared for the meeting. One second, I will set recording to capture a cannon. Wait, I'm level 44, not 45. That's sad. Arcanum exa. And well, we may as well finish the game. The main reason for finishing the game is that, like, I'm kind of tired of this save, there is not much left to do. And honestly, I already did Amy, so this is not exactly like new to me. Even if I like get CN beauty to max, there is not much left. We could technically get melee, ex melee master and dodge master. What do you want to? You see, big problem of this game is that it's going on for way too long. I tried to make enough money to afford Bait Mansion, but it's unaffordable without like completely putting your mind into it. Inventory. Yes, Magnus, you could fucking carry my garbage, I swear. <sighs> okay, so... When you like tired of the game and have a device, vindictive device I have... Are you prepared to face Aranac? And just throw at you a lot of fucking things. And this is final boss room. You just do this. It's rather not very challenging. Seriously, I mean... Listen, child. If there were a way I could travel back to those days and change them, I would. You've no idea how sorry I am that things have turned out this way. But I can tell you this. Oh, it was thousands of years ago. Okay. that makes you. It is the heart that travels through. Remember that. You know, there's only one reason I'm here. When my vision showed me what was to come, I saw a way to right all of the wrongs that had been done by my people. I came here to kill you, Aranax. I could no longer live with the shared guilt of the Dark Elves, and your death seemed the only way to make things right. And now, child, do you still feel that way? I can tell you this. Once this is all over, you can have your chance. That is, if I can manage to get out of this bloody shell. <laughs> no, I don't think that is the way. I have no reason to blame you for the evil of another. And more importantly, 
You've shown me that I have no reason to blame myself. And I see you, Aranax, sitting in an old elven grove and bathed in sunlight. And you are free, Aranax. You are finally free. An interesting vision, child. Let us hope you are as clairvoyant as you are outspoken. Now, my friend, as I was saying, I've had more than a little time to see the error of my ways. Two millennia in isolation tend to make one introspect. I did no such thing. I've been here for ages. Do you really think I could reach across the void to torment you? <laughs> I assure you, it is not a light-hearted jest, though I wish that it were. This is Kurgan's doing. He wasn't nothing. I would vaccination would be more. I am very sorry, but I'm fucking tired of this garbage. If you were able to, your hesitation is understand. I do not know. There is a. Okay, I will go speak with him. Yes. I will speak with Kurgan and with Snake. Snake, Snake, Snake. No, 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 Snake. Snake. Snake, I need your stupid mother. Oh, fuck. You bring it upon yourself. Uh, so we wait. So I'm here to release you. I'm afraid I do not know. I do not believe Kurgan. What are your questions? I do not know. I do not know much. But what I do. Uh, snake. Okay, I release you. I release Snake. Many thanks for releasing me from my horribly lengthy incarceration, madam. I am at... Let us send Kurgan off to that death. I do not know. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, because they, they are fucking blind as fucks, uh, we basically did it. Uh, I don't have fucking halfling. Um, oh, yay. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. How could they came unprepared? You see, when you are here, in order to get into castle, you need to kill these two guys. He... Uh, so, you see, I deal damage to him. And you see, like, look. And he... He doesn't die, like... This must be a bug. I have 20 strength. Like yes, some of you might fucking argue that I my, my turn don't end. But this is intended mechanic of the game. What is the problem is that my enemies didn't die when I killed them. And this worthless piece of shit is rather useless and we should not go anywhere close to Okay, let's go. Okay, since I have infinite turns for everything... Uh, okay, let me... Uh, oh, easy. Is this locked? No. Well... This is simply how I beat this area. I just teleport across. This is only guard at this level. This, this guy. Wait, is this locked? 
locked. This is home locked. We don't exactly need to give a shit about dwarves. I don't think you can resurrect any of them. Yeah. It's still worth a try, you know, resurrecting people killed against their will is rather good. Uh, so let's call the save somehow. Uh, so let me check if I'm recording it at all. Fuck, that would be fucking so problematic. Like, if I would not record it... Okay, okay yes. Yes, it's a lot of gaming going on here. Honestly? Okay, how far he goes? Nobody died here, right? That would be fucking stupid. Okay, good. How may I help you? Then I will do my best to answer. Kirkin. Only that he was the first dark necromancer and that he was banished because of it. It seems that he's finally going to exact his revenge. And only we have the power to stop him. Ah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. What is it you need? What do you want to know? I know we're meant to be searching out Aranax, but we must not forget about the Black Mountain clan. Dude. Only if I can find a way to return them to Arcanum, will I feel I have begun to repay them for my grievous error. Dude, we are kind of trying with this Black Mountain clan, clan, believe me. For you, yes, yes, yes. I told you something. Okay. Okay, cringe. Oh, fuck. Okay, so these guys are rather hostile. I believe so. These berserkers. I mean, they have level 7. Are, are you sure? Most 
Wait, this is locked? No, okay, perfect. Let's go. Oh, she's like her. It screams. Tired. I can no longer tolerate the atrocities of this thing. Oh. It all depends on your belief. Take now. The prophecy. Do you believe it or not? As well, you should. There are those who look at all that has happened to you, and then look at you. That only bothers you. Okay, back off worthless sheets. What? Okay, there's a bug because instead of taking all the damage... Guys, stop! Stop fighting Kergan. Ah, these people, I'm telling you, Kerge. Uh, some of this was my damage, it wasn't our companions. I'm trying to tell him them to stay back, okay? It's not like... Wait, is this supposed to be damage or something? You take damage from this? Cringe. Done. Yeah, fuck this guy. Okay, so honestly, Amy Blade didn't exactly work perfectly well in this last level. Like, this is third best sword in the game and first best sword in the mine world of her canon. Yeah. But it was still... Oh, I could fucking use Backstab Master. Or maybe go for Mini Master. Ah, fuck it. We at least find... Yeah, this is so shit. He perfected his alchemical process and eventually found a way to make gold from common lead. Needless to say, he became the richest man in all of our kingdom. The defeat of Lucan and his henchmen, coupled with your freeing of the ghost of Bessy Tomb, enabled Shrouded Hills to grow and become a thriving community once again. A new silver vein is discovered in the old Bessy Tomb mine. Workers pour into town As you see at the bottom, Kergan is still alive. Crowded Hills is a bustling boom town. Such towns often have problems keeping the peace. Crowded Hills has no such trouble, mainly due to the efforts of their new sheriff, Doc Roberts. Don Throg, because of the advice that you gave him, became a leading political activist in the fight for Orcish mm -hmm. rights. In time, he legalized Orcish labor unions, secured the vote for all citizens, regardless of race or gender, and became the champion of equal rights and justice in Durant. Before long, he was begrudgingly voted into the Industrial Council, and in a few years, he sat at its head. Following the deaths of Pollock and Darian Long, the boil was demolished and then built anew. The Bentley was renovated 
and became the most elegant hotel in Tarant. The owner, the Honorable Mr. Caleb Malloy, is often seen mixing drinks for his guests in the hotel bar. Maximilian was returned to Dernholm, and all of Cumbria rejoiced in the return of their rightful king. Under the new rule of Maximilian, Cumbria quickly grew into a powerful nation, embracing both magic and technology. And once again, the proud banner of the Dragon Knights flew from the ramparts of Dernholm Castle. Set there by their new captain, Liana Pelgar. Because of your outstanding efforts in negotiating the terms for Caledon's membership into the Unified Kingdom, as well as the wise governing policies of Don Frog, Caledon and Terrant became equally prosperous. There is peace for many years in our game. The long-standing deception of the Fanari by the Dark Elves was finally brought to light. Alexander became the new Yeah, I don't know if I have all perfectly good endings, but it's definitely a good good kissing engine. Experiences with the living one. Because you convinced the mayor of Blackroot to rejoin Cumbria. There is a small struggle between Maximilian and the Industrial Council concerning ownership of the town. Maximilian was determined to defend his own, and he was successful in doing so. Under the protection of their new king, Blackroot grew into one of the most important port cities in all of our kingdom. Under the continued leadership of Logair Thunderstone... Yeah, Blackroot is very important because localization there. Basically you travel from Tarant through Blackroot to go to Caladon or to go to Shrouded or anywhere. ...and songs are still sung about his bravery and courage. Come Karai and the better Khan. Made a lasting peace with the elves of Kintara. And together they rid the glimmering forests and the dark. I think this ending is not necessary. And of the spoils of the land. In time, the Bedokan became a more civilized people, sharing in the wonders. Bedokan schools prosper on their own, just gave him up on revenge. Aranax buried his father on the Isle of Thanatos. Later he traveled to the Bendigroth Wastes, and there used his powers, and single-handedly raised the city from the ruins that had become. Bendigroth again became a place of awe and wonder. Yet, after all of this, Arcanum is still what it always was. A place of possibility. A place of change. One thing is certain. Yeah, and that is quite fucking that good. nothing like, at all is ever done with this game. This place. Who's to say what the future I might try one or two more runs, but it's always the same for me. I always do everything the same, even if I do different characters, they always do the same. It's not like you know, you can take you you can take good decision or you can get fucked. By taking like l less good decision in Arcanum, you basically f shooting yourself in the foot. You can do that, and it's still element of roleplay. But it would be fine if both ways could be equally rewarding and equally engaging. Uh, there is not such thing. Normally, when you, for example, play Mass Effect Two and Mass Effect maybe One. Being renegade or pa paragon leads to different possibilities and different uh, outlook on situation. Mass Effect 3 is kind of a failure for me, but some people might say it still present you with choices. Here, being evil sometimes gives you like insightful dialogue. You are not exactly like evil, but you still are like seen as a, this monster who needs to do. Very bad things. Anyway, see ya.